programming your subconscious mind to use 100% of your brain. Yes. You have access to 100%. You have access to 100% of your brain all of the time. But does that mean we actually use the whole brain all of the time? The answer is no. Because what we start to find out is when we start to live in patterns and in habits, that what happens is we just activate certain neuronal pathways that are habitual pathways. And as a result, these are the pathways that have preference in our everyday life. Science shows how crossing your arms and legs can hugely change your brain. We know a fair bit about how the human brain works and how it governs our bodies, emotions, and our psychology. There is still so much that we have yet to learn. It was once thought that we only use 10% of our brain function because it is made up of 10% nerve cells called neurons, which direct our behaviors and thoughts. However, recent research has shown that glial cells, which make up around 90% of our brains, have a lot more influence on our neurons than previously thought. So, in actual fact, we do use more than 10% of our brains. We also know that the brain is divided into two hemispheres the right brain and the left brain. The right brain is associated with emotion and creativity, and governs the left side of the body. The left brain focuses more on logic and details, and controls the right side of the body. Down the center runs the midline of the central nervous system, or CNS. Research has found that when you move your extremities across this midline, the opposite-sided brain will start to help regulate its movement, meaning both brain hemispheres are now activated and functioning simultaneously, says Seth M., who wrote on the subject for ExpandedConsciousness.com. The ambidexterity achieved while crossing your arms and legs can cause your brain to function optimally. It can dramatically reduce stress and help you to learn and cognate more clearly because it synchronizes both hemispheres of the brain and both sides of the body simultaneously. Keep it simple. Crossing your arms and legs the ordinary way can have just as many health benefits as doing it in the opposite way to what you are used to. This means both in terms of increasing your ambidexterity and brain function. You don't have to be a yoga master to do that. So remember, next time you are bored in a meeting or waiting for a bus, start crossing your arms and legs and know that you are doing something positive for your health. Just make sure your facial expression is serene and not impatient to avoid giving the wrong message both to others and to your brain.